patrons of the Irish Terrier Association and Sir Derek Jacobi, we're so delighted and he's going to read us something now, how about that? Now <laughs> 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 given that Derek can make singers some of the sixties sound like Shakespeare, you can have a good time. <laughs> now we must think about what we're going to say about Libs and her picture. This is here to be presented and I have to confess, my hands did tremble a little as I took her off the wall. She'd been with me drying out for a bit until she was varnished. And uh, it was quite a moment, <laughs> because I used to come down every morning and say, Hello, you. <laughs> the top of the morning. <laughs> Which is why the picture is called The Top of the Morning. Oh, oh lovely. Nice. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here. But the big thank you, of course, is to the Kendall Club. And we are so honoured to have our chairman. You notice I'm saying, ah, oh, I am now a full member. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen and guests, thank you very much for coming. And Lucy, this is a very, very generous gift to the Kennel Club and very many congratulations to uh, Miss Dorman for the uh, pictures, absolutely wonderful. Uh, of course anybody who has um, <clears throat> on their CV uh, poor man's sentinel, uh, yes. farmer's friend yes. and gentleman's favourite uh, starts in a very strong position. <laughs> if you look at the website of the Irish Terrier Association uh, before you're asked a question, you say yes, <laughs> because you look at the committee. And I would like to thank them very much indeed. This will be a wonderful addition to our collection in the safe hands of Giles Park, who looks after everything for us. And it's very much appreciated. Lovely to see Liberty Bell here. Uh, I just wonder if she's not a little bit worried about the uh, portrait being painted uh, for the event. Um, maybe she would like to have looked back on it in 15 years' time. Uh, anyway, thank you very much indeed and thank you for coming. Thank you. Arabella is a brilliant exotic star. <laughs> Bella thinks Irish terriers from the inside. She really does know exactly what they're about. When I told my children um, that I've been asked to say a few words about Irish terriers and I asked them to sum them up, my daughter just said, Well, oh, Mummy, they're the king of the naughty ones. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought out of the mouth of babes. Um, and of course, she was referring to Zorba, but in fact, she was referring to all. Irish Terriers, who indeed are the kings or queens of charming naughtiness <laughs> and irresistible playfulness. And that's why we're here and that's why we love them and I adore painting them. It's a real privilege to um, paint such characters as the beautiful Liberty Bell. <laughs> um, I would love to understand what makes us all love them. Is it their dignity? Is it their look in their eyes, their irrepressible joy, and the way that they turn everything into an adventure when you're with them. They make you feel as though anything is possible. And this is what really I think, Lucy, you capture so beautifully in your poems and your wonderful illustrations and stories. Yes, it's true. Um, it's, it's that irrepressible joy and the intelligence and the humour which actually I think you encapsulate as well. And you say dogs are known as, it's true, you see, <laughs> it's true. Um, all your books, Call Me Daisy, Ted and His Teddy Bear, 
Jock and the Great Wall, they are our household favourites and my children devour them. And I can't thank you enough for the gift that you give us in having created them. Um, so really, I'd like to just raise a toast to Lucy as much as to Liberty and our beloved mix. <laughs> This, surprisingly, is called The Terrier by Lucy Jackson. <laughs> if you ask why I don't always do as you say, it's simply because I know best. I'm a terrier, remember, and following rules never puts my skills to full stretch. I keep myself toned and all senses well honed to cope with matters of urgency. But I'm in charge here, and you must be aware that I deal with every emergency. We're invaded by pigeons and squirrels and frogs. My patrol of the garden is ceaseless. I dig all those holes just to trap a few moles, a passing fox or weasel. That cat on the gate is a crying disgrace. I'm biding my time to dispatch her. <laughs> the mouse in the cupboard is really a rat. I have plans in the pipeline to snatch her. <laughs> you complain about barking. Well, it's mostly for laughing. And I'm perfectly charming to friends. But I can't abide liberties, presumptions, and subtleties from dogs who may wish to offend. <laughs> I admit to some issues on chewing and tweaking and loafing on sofa and chair. But even when snoozing, I'm ready and willing and quick as a flash, I'll be there. <laughs> For you know that I love you with all that I am. And all that I have is yours. And all of my life, like that green, green grass, is yours and yours and yours. <laughs> it is called Ode to a Sleeping Puppy. <laughs> How is it you're so sweet when you're asleep? I must have been mistaken when all those things became misshapen. Impossible that you could do in a shoe in a minute or two. <laughs> and how about my dress and those shreds that were a vest? <laughs> Should you? Best stay asleep, for you do look so sweet. And I'll suspend my belief that you're a little beast. And we'll all have some peace this moment at least. <laughs> 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 I get me the greatest pleasure to present this beautiful picture to, to the Kevin Club. And I know she will be enjoyed. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> She is just really the, the most dear person in my life, and I am not going to give you a great litany of all the glorious Irish tales that run through a whole lifetime like a wonderful ribbon of gold. 